Good morning, everyone. First, uh, I would like to just thank the tremendous amount of support that we have received from the community, um, from uh, public officials, from safety officials, from other utilities. I, I, it's been a been a been a, a, a remarkable uh, a, a remarkable effort to to um, to address this 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 tragic event. I want to acknowledge, recognize the fact that this event has resulted in, in, a, in a profound impact to the community. Citizens, the, the citizens of these communities are hurting and as a step in a longer process. Columbia Gas would like to announce that they will make an immediate $10 million contribution to the Greater Lawrence Disaster Relief Fund at the Essex County Community Foundation. Thank you. Right. <laughs> so first of all, let me just start by, um, by thanking Steve and the folks at Columbia for stepping up on this. Um, this is the first of what I'm sure will be many donations that will be made to support this, uh, this fund and the work of this effort. Um, obviously, last Thursday's events shocked everybody in the Merrimack Valley and in the greater Lawrence community and devastated families and businesses. Homes were ruined, businesses closed, loved ones were injured, displaced, and in one tragic case, we lost the life of a young man. And together, Lawrence, Andover, and North Andover are slowly beginning to pick up the pieces. The recovery process is underway. People have been able to go back to their homes, but there remains a long road ahead. The utility companies are in the process of assembling the next stage of rebuilding to get the gas system repaired. As we said before, there's a phase two and a phase three to this effort. Phase two has to do with damage assessment and mitigation with respect to the review of the current system that runs along those um, 8,570 8, dwellings that were associated with the original surge. And then phase three is actually um, doing the repair work that's associated with that so that you can turn the gas back on. And as we've said for a while, that's gonna take several weeks. But in the meantime, there's a desperate need for other resources and services. We know that there's a claims operation that's been set up by Columbia and Lawrence, and I believe they're opening one today in Andover and one tomorrow in North Andover, and that will certainly help. But in the meantime, um, there will be short-term needs and a significant increase in humanitarian aid requirements that will exist uh, across the area for the next several weeks uh, that we need to deal with, and that's really what this Greater Lawrence Relief Disaster Fund, Disaster Relief Fund is all about. A team is working rapidly to get this fund up and running, and as the framework's built and launched over the next few days, we plan to support needed services, particularly those that relate to daily sustenance um, and shelter. The goal is to bridge this gap between the short and long-term recovery so people and businesses have the ability to get back to something that feels like normal daily life as quickly as possible. We are obviously pleased and grateful for the support this fund's receiving from Columbia Gas, the $10 million donation as part of their ongoing commitment to provide support to the residents in the community here in the Merrimack Valley. This will not be an easy process. It will take time, and we're thankful to the community for their patience and their support. There's been a tremendous amount of collaboration and cooperation across all three communities over the course of the past week, and we continue to believe that there remains a lot of work to do to get all the way back. And as people work to set up this fund and organize a system for how the needs of those affected can most effectively be met, we encourage people to donate to the existing Lawrence Emergency Fund as well as this new fund that's been established, uh, the uh, Greater Lawrence Disaster Relief Fund. 